everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to video number 40. I had to go look that up by the way. And I went and counted how many paintings I've done in New York City. And this will be my 24th painting in almost four months. Pretty productive. I want to squeeze in one more uh, if I can, just so I can call it my, you know, 25, my New York City collection or my Manhattan collection or something, something clever. Um, anyway, uh, before I get started tonight, the, yeah, this, this might be uh, it for me um, for maybe three weeks or so, maybe a month, I hope not that long. Um, I am just about out of supplies. I am out of Floetrol, I am out of glue. I have uh, that much pouring medium left. I have that much GAC 800 left, and that's about it. Um, oh no, and I have, oh, I do have a bunch of, uh, you know, a little bit of the uh, Lucatex pouring medium left. So I might be able to squeeze in one more, like a little 8x8 or 6x6 or something before um, I pack it up. The movers are coming on uh, Thursday instead of Friday, so if I do this one, I could stay in the apartment until Friday. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days. I leave Saturday, it gives it five days to dry. It should be okay. So uh, anything I do tonight will definitely be it. I wanna show you the results of the last painting. Um, it's only two and a half days old now, so I'm drying really nicely. So that's this guy here, which is really, really pretty. Um, as you could tell in the last video, if you watched it, I was super excited about it. I still adore it, um, but it's not mine, so I can't get too, too excited over it. I'm gonna put it away somewhere safe. But yeah, super pretty. So tonight I'm doing a, a painting in the similar colors because I really like that palette. Um, a larger canvas though, a gallery wrap 12 by 24. So let me show you. Stretch it over the table. There we go. So, look at all those cups sitting on my canvas. Let me fix this. There we go. Uh, that's because I'm also low on many colors of paint. Um, so, this row here. Well, this is this is the A team, and this is the colors on the bench, the backup ones. Um, in case I need more of those colors because some of these I'm kind of low on. Um, so let me uh, try to whip through the colors really quickly. So the first two, um, you'll see because I know the containers are empty. So let me just grab up all the empty ones. Oops, drop one. All right, so in this first cup, I had the red ochre the Liquitex Heavy Body. It's very rich, very creamy, really pretty shade. Um, but in case it doesn't work out, I have behind it the Quintessyndrome Burnt Orange. Oh, oh, I'm not showing you, you can't see it. So the first one is Windsor & Newton, the Red Ochre, that's a goner. And then the second cup behind it is the Quintessyndrome Burnt Orange, the Heavy Body. Still got a lot of that. Two, number one is my, you know, my ultra favorite, number 308, Sennelier Blue Indigo. It's gone. It's a very, very deep, deep midnight blue. And the closest I could get to coming to matching that is the Liquitex Heavy Body. This is Indian Thread Blue, which is pretty dark. It's just uh, more vibrant. It's got a little more, it's more cobalty, I guess, than the uh, Indigo. But it's a good substitute. So those are goners. Third row here on the A team is um, Burnt Umber, which is richer and more pumpkin-y. And then on the B team, um, as a substitute in case I don't, because I don't really have that much of it, um, is the Raw Sienna. And actually Raw Sienna was on the A team for the last painting, but I decided I liked the Burnt Umber better, so I swapped them. So he's on the bench, 
He's like, what did I do, man? I was, I was pretty in the last painting. I'm like, yeah, you were. I don't know. I might, I might do this again. I don't know. Because it was like this, I think. Anyway, um, finally killing off, because I feel like this tube lasted forever, is the Master's Touch Acrylic. This is Lake Blue. It's finally empty. Um, don't, I only had a half a cup of that. So the closest I could get as a substitute for that is Cerulean Blue, and that's the Blick brand. And then finally, I did have enough of my Cobalt Turquoise Light. Actually, I didn't. Cobalt Turquoise Light and somebody else's brand, I think I threw it away, um, of, of bright aqua green are essentially the same color. Like I mixed them together and you couldn't tell the difference. So those are two, but basically you can use the Cobalt Turquoise Light. This is the Windsor Newton Professional Series. And then finally, I had plenty of my Naples Yellow. Um, big old cup. Okay, I'm throwing things all over the place. Big old, I'll get it later. Big old cup of tea white. I already started layering. I'm gonna do five cup flip cup. Now, as much as I love the painting uh, that I did in the last video, I mean, adore that painting. It wasn't what I expected. I was going for more. Uh-oh, I just did that, and I think I just did it all over my face. Uh, I was going more for the colors that were in the the video I did, which I now think is video number 32, which is the uh, more of the Sedona colors. And what I got was a lot of really pretty blues with the white and the um, goldeny, you know, the burnt sienna and the yellow showed up to make for, I mean, a gorgeous palette but totally not what I was uh, aiming for. So tonight I'm gonna try it again, see if I can get a little closer. I gotta tell you, if I get another one like the last one, I'll be pretty pick tickled, but you know that's not gonna happen because that never ever happens. So, um, yeah, let me start layering. Three cups of uh, treadmill silicone, the spot on, uh, in all the colors except the white pouring medium recipe um why mess with success i'll go back to experimenting but right now since you know i want a decent painting this is a half cup flow troll half cup umbers glue wall four ounces of liquid text pm mix well no water uh 50 50 paint to pouring medium water to consistency of your choice um, all right, I got all that out of the way. Let me just start layering. And what do I want first? I'm kind of in love with this color, so I'm just gonna go in order. Hold on, let me mix up a, mi a minute. You might get to come down on the A-team after all. Look at that. And you could stay on the A-team too. You guys, you just sit on the bench. Go practice your skills. Do your drills. And I'll get back to you. Some basketball references there. Okay. I was a um, basketball player way back in the day in like high school. And mm, Good God, was I awful at it. I was so gangly and uncoordinated that like literally um, my team would cringe whenever the ball got in my hands. Cause I just, I couldn't run and I couldn't dribble. And so if you try to do both simultaneously, it's a recipe for disaster. But I was really good on defense. Like I could steal a ball like nobody's business. So they had to keep me around cause I was good for something. Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's really real now. I'm leaving. It's kind of, you know, it's very, very bittersweet because I love my office up here. I love the people. Um, I really adore the city. And 
I love my apartment. So I'm just, you know, but I also miss my family and my daughter's happy and doing well in school and that's the most important part. So bye bye New York. I am going to take a half a day and go to the Met and wander around by myself, which I've been dying to do. Because usually I'm always with people and I always feel rushed because I sit and stare and take pictures where you can and ponder and think and get inspired and that takes a while. And there are parts of that building that I haven't seen yet, so. I can't wait, that's gonna be my, I think my last hurrah. So, I already went to the MoMA, which is also equally amazing, amazing museum. Let me switch these two. Actually, let me switch these two. Yeah. And so, my husband's been keeping me in the loop, you know, with the local neighborhood gossip and things going on back home. And, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you guys, because this, this just gave me the heebie-jeebies. So, when I go back to Virginia, I'm speaking of Northern Virginia, in the suburbs right outside of Washington, D.C. So, some woman in the suburbs of Northern Virginia was out in her garden, you know, looking at her flowers or pruning or whatnot, you know, minding her own business, just going about her business. And she came across a two-headed copperhead snake. Two heads. It was in the news, down, you know, the local news in Virginia. And she called like the pest control people and they were like, hot oh, damn, it does. It's got two heads. And that's, that's like, snakes are my worst nightmare, but like a two headed snake, that's just, that's just wrong in all kinds of levels. And I don't know, that kind of blew my mind. But they've taken it away to like study it and they're like, oh, the one head does this and the other head does that and they both share a heart and lungs and, and all of that. And um, they say it's like incredibly rare, which thank God. <laughs> and two, um, they're both sides of the head like fight for food, which, you know, like, hey, hey dudes, it's the same stomach. So it doesn't really matter. But I guess that was pretty funny. I mean, let me do layer of white. I don't know. Oh no, let me do yellow first. Um, I don't know. I'm of the opinion that most animals that start with the letter S are bad news. And my friends have heard me say this before. Like they're just bad news. There's just not that many good animals that start with the letter S. And don't go and tell me like Shetland Sheepdog because that's a D for dog, okay? I'm not having it. Like, I'm not a fan of slugs or snails. Sharks, come on. Even sheep, sheep are dumb and mean. When I used to go horseback riding, I had a, kept the horse when I lived in England and I would ride through the sheep fields. They're mean, like, they're like, I'm not moving off the path for you. I was here first and there's 50 of us and only one of you. And I'd be like, oh yeah, well I'm on a horse, so look out. And I would kind of plow through them and they would be at me. I'm like, F you, sheep. Um, <laughs> cracking myself up. Anyway, yeah, sharks, come on. Seals are okay, I guess. They must not be that great, I don't know. Uh, what else? I'm running out of S's. I'm sure there's more. But you get the general idea.
I'm sure you guys, somebody will write to me and say, well, what about this? And it'll be the, like I said, there's always the exception to the rule. So if you think of an S animal, that's, you know, decent, let me know. Otherwise, I'm staying away. Actually, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind spiders too, too much because they eat the other bugs, so that's good. And when I was a kid, I used to catch salamanders. But I'm gonna alternate these two. That's the end of this color. So bye-bye red oxide. Dang, I did that last time too. Hello to, what is this? Oh, the Quinn syndrome. All right, you're off the bench and in the game. Play nice, score some points, make the painting pretty. So New York, it's in total chaos this week. It's UNGA week, which is the UN General Assembly. And I'm like, huh, oh, what's that? That means hell downtown, where, I mean, blocks and blocks and blocks are, um, well, blocked off. And what color do I want next? Do I want to mix it up a little? And um, I made the mistake of walking down Fifth Avenue, like the ritzy part where all the, you know, stores that nobody can afford. I don't know how to stay in business, honestly. I guess the billionaires go in there, but it's like where the, where, I'm trying to think of a, a the Harry Winston jewelry, like the guy that makes the diamonds and all those. That's kind of like across the street from Trump Tower. And since the president is coming to town, they had like 10 dump trucks filled with sand in front of his building. And then, you know, you've got the protesters, the, the ones that are pro and the ones that are con and they're yelling at each other. Not really, it was all kind of civilized, but um, more police than I've ever seen anywhere just out in full force and even here like i got home from work um a little like an hour early and uh i'm way way up on the upper west side and one of the nice things i get to do um because my i'm not on a terribly high floor i'm on the seventh floor i can uh kind of look out my window you know up the street a bit and just kind of people watch that makes me sound like I'm a, a voyeur, doesn't it? I, it? I really don't mean to. It just, you know, I look out the window and there they are. Um, and I'm high enough that they can't see me. So that is kind of nice. But anyway, um, there was a, a group of mounted policemen clip-clopping down the street on their way to the park. And that was cool. That was very, very cool. And those horses look a hell of a lot better than the ones that give carriage rides in Central Park. Uh, let me see what I like next. Did I do you? It doesn't look like I have. So, and apparently it's gonna be that way all week. And like the other the um, thing I noticed, so I'm like walking along Fifth Avenue, I'm like, and there's there are people around, you know, tourists and workers, and you know, I was trying to find um, a place to get a cup of soup actually, and I'm walking around, my gosh, it's quiet, and then I realized that 
like 20 blocks of Fifth Avenue was blocked off. And you, you, it was, it wasn't as quiet that you could hear a pin drop, but for New York City, it was pretty dang quiet. I was like, wow. All right, little blue. I think I'm done with these colors. I feel like there's a lot of those in there. And let me get a little bit of blue. I like blue. But it made all the cabbies cranky. They're all, you know, they're like, oh, I hate this week. You know, it's just hard to get around anywhere. The subways were packed. Packed. So, if you're a tourist here this week, probably not the best week to come to New York City. I'm going to, um, I have to come back up for work. Uh in October that's another reason I won't be able to paint uh, for almost two weeks and I'm really looking forward to that because it'll be fall here and I'm gonna you know go through a walk now that I know my way around pretty much it should be really gorgeous to see it in the fall um, all right little yellow little white Get some flip cup, or what did I call it last time? The flag, we'll do some flags. If people don't know what that is, that's just me being silly and calling a flip and a drag a flag. All right, there's my yellow. I feel like I have enough paint. Maybe some leftover, I can use the leftover for a pour. That would be nice. And my white. I do want to top it off with my white. Uh, this little table. I'm back. My phone rang. Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to splice this together. I hope the uh, quality holds up. If not, maybe I'll just post this part and you missed all my chatter. Oh well. Here it goes. Five cup, flip cup. One. Two. four, five. Be right back and grab my gloves. I'm down to my uh, last three pair of gloves too, so totally running out of everything. All right, see a bunch of white. It should be okay. Let me move things out of the way. All the Team B colors. Well, see, they're already pre-mixed, and I have some white left. I could do one more pour after this. Hmm. <gasps> I'm insane, I really should stop. I really, really should stop. All right, let's go with the middle guy first. Whoa, I did not mean to run into him.
there's a burst of color at the end on that one. Yeah, I want you to run that way. Where all the burnt sienna colors go? I deliberately left some colors in my cup. I'm gonna kill off this one cup though, because there's a lot there. Let's put them on the end. Help things run along. Run along, little doogie. some bubbles. All right, the cells, let's do some right there. Oh, not too many. I'm worried about this big hunk of white there because it's, I can tell it's thick. It's not like this white where you can see the color underneath. As you can see the color underneath. Same with this. Mm. Huh. I don't know, it might be cool with the white. Let's give it a tilt and see what happens. See which way I want to go. I kind of wish these guys would have kissed up in the middle there. Same here. Let me get these guys to just kiss up a little bit. Let me go this way. Hey, go say hi. some room. Stop for a second. See what I got going on. Very dramatic. So we didn't get anything under this white part. Same with here and here. See if it does anything now. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna obviously have the tilt done by me, which is a shame because why is it that your best cells are always on the end and then you have to lose them? Because these guys here, are phenomenal, same with right here, and they're bye-bye, they're goners, there's no saving those. Um, but what I might do is go back your way, see if I can get rid of a little bit of the white, and. Uh, Maybe stretch out some cells and get them bigger. Let's see what happens. I don't know, I'm just gonna wiggle my way toward me for a second. Oh, 
and slow moving. And look at that, tilt it up pretty high too. Look at that. All right, do I have to go way up? I guess I do. Way down? I guess I do. Come on down. I do have to cover my sides this time. I come way down here. It does not want to go. I hate, I don't really don't like, um, what do you call it? I really don't like it when it does like wink on the ends, it bugs me. I'd rather have it straight. I'm really happy with this, this third of the painting. This side here is not my favorite. This part here, kind of cool. Still not getting my uh, Southwest themed painting. Just not happening. So again, let's break out the torch, see if we get anything in here, if it's just too thick, which I think is the case. Same here. Here doesn't bother me as much. I just don't like that part. But let me walk around, because if it was at the top of the painting, it might be cool. But I think I know what I'm going to do. You guys know what I'm going to do, too. You know I'm going to stripe it, right? Or I might just go like this with my finger first instead of pouring more paint on this canvas and doing this. I'm just taking my finger. Wow, that, like, that helped a lot, right? At least I think so. You guys are probably like, you idiot. Why'd you do that for? I might do it right here too. Even though, bye bye, beautiful cell right there. Sorry to wipe you out. Hmm. I don't like that. That was a mistake. This part is okay. Let me see if I can go up. Well, I don't want to go up because then my cells down here get all wonky. And I really want to keep those guys happy. So we're going to leave those like that. We're going to leave those be happy. Love this. Right? Well, last one couldn't be easy. looks like it looks like a progression painting I would say you know this is what I used to be happy with and I would have been like oh I got a sound yay and then over time when I you know sort of figured out what I'm doing and got better and better and better now I'm like yay down at the other end that's what it looks like to me I'll call it I'm gonna call this progression Definitely. Um, I'm just hanging out looking at it. Got some cells growing from the torch here. Seeing if I want to do anything else with this area. I do have paint left. Or do I just leave it be? Let me see. Is that white or is that? Yes. I thought that was canvas for a second. Mm -hmm. How do my sides look? I've got a corner, a couple corners to do. Let me play with the corners a second and just stare at it. I really like like I it looks like um like hills like I don't know maybe it is kind of growing on me the cells are getting bigger um I wish it didn't have this right here but I mean that's I don't know that's like super super picky I think 
considering the rest of those are just primo. Um, this actually has gotten better, not so bad. Let me see what I have in my cups. And I did not pour all the paint out. Oh yeah, that's really pretty right there. I am gonna layer him on there. Right there. In this corner as well. This matches perfectly. Oh, yay. Mm. Well, I definitely see the um, the orientation of this painting, so the yellow part up there is definitely the top. Uh, my eye is definitely drawn toward the bottom of the painting for sure, which is down here. I mean, how does the back look? The back's, oh, it's a little spot over here. Just, I think it's just the right, right amount of paint too. Let me throw on a glove a second, tilt up just a little bit, like ever, ever so slightly. And then um, I'm gonna leave the top. I think if I muck with it too much, I run the risk of ruin, ruining, you know, nine tenths of the rest of the painting is lovely. This is better. It's got all kinds of little baby cells everywhere. Um, I broke up that white, which is the idea. It kind of matches this here and this. So you kind of got, you got a big evil right here with a big old eyeball and a little nose. So let me go up just a tiny bit, just straight up. my stick under my one peg again. Make sure it stays uh, level. Ta -da! Once again, folks, you can never ever predict what you're going to get. It's kind of cool and funky though. I think I like it. It's not the last guy, but I don't think anything's going to be the last guy for a <gasps> A while. Karen, you're such an idiot sometimes. Did you see what I just did there? Uh, hold on, I need more color now. Oh, that's not gonna match. Hold on, because I have to make things match. That's it for me, you guys. I, can't, I might promise one more, but if I don't and you don't see me again, I'll see you guys in a month back in Virginia. Thanks for your support, take care. And if you see me in a couple minutes like, hi again, you can just have a good laugh. Otherwise, uh, let me zoom in and uh, check her out. I hit the button on the side. sorry about that be a three splice video so here she is let me zoom down see if I can kind of 
Can I block that light? Oh, look at that. That's my hand trying to block that light. Cells there. Look how bright. Come down here. Look at those awesome guys there. Those amazing guys there. And these guys here. We're the green guys. I'm in love with the green guys. Oh, they're over here. Check those out. And then uh, come back up high. So you can see it straight on. That's what she looks like. Not bad. Sorry for the glare. All right, see you guys soon. Bye-bye.